Hello, I am Prince S, and this is another Can Rush tutorial video. This time for Merry Go Round PVZ. I, of course, have my own unique aggressive style of can rushing with a proxied gateway. So, this video will show you how to create a gateway based wall off against Zerg on this map. Alright, so because Merry Go Round is a three player map, it is asymmetrical, which means that every base is different and needs to be cannon rushed differently. So the top right base here is the best base to cannon rush. It, is, it can be done in a very classic fashion, such as on Yonsu and Kim Sejong, where you place the first pylon right here, and then if drones are pulled, you can place two more like this to buy time. You then place a cannon here, the gateway, and can finish the wall off with pylon, and cancel these two pylons if you're forced to create them. Again, you have to let this pylon finish if you want to be able to can rush an expansion over here. So if he lets it finish, you are forced to finish your pylon. However, that's more than worth it simply because, you know, hatcheries are expensive. So now down here. This one is almost as good as the top, I want to say. It's not quite as good. Here, this pylon will not quite reach, so the pylon has to be placed here instead. This is unfortunate because it means you can't simply finish a wall off with two pylons and buy yourself time. This gives you an option. You can either place a second pylon and then be ready to place these two if necessary and then cancel all three or you can just hope that he doesn't come block the low ground placements, which is generally actually a fairly safe bet. The building placement then goes cannon, gateway, pylon, and once again, you do need to let the pylon finish to can rush a hatchery. Finally, we have the top left base, which is the worst one to can rush, because there is no crevice in which you can squeeze a gateway and a cannon. So what I've been doing, which is not ideal and is possibly just a bad idea, you might want to instead do a more standard camera behind the middle line, but I enjoy my style so I do this. Look, this again, you can do two pylons up here to buy time. And then you place the cannon here with the gateway the pylon, and then another pylon. And this is almost a complete wall. The reason that this is obviously bad is it takes two pylons instead of one, and the cannon can still be attacked. However, it must looks like it cannot be attacked from the top though, because that pylon does create a solid wall with it. Alternatives to this placement are cannon here, with the gateway, and then two pylons here. This creates a solid wall, so you can't get to the cannon at all. However, the cannon is further away from the natural. And it also does worse job of guarding high ground. So whereas this pot whereas a cannon long here, will let you get a cannon up here. This one will not do as well. It's up to you as to which one you take. But this spawn in general will be much harder to can rush. There is, of course, the questionable decision of cam rushing over here. This is not let you guard the ramp at all, but it will allow you to get up an effective wall off. Again, I do not recommend it, but it is a possible move if you believe that it is worth it. Again, not recommended by me. But it is an option. And because Merry Go Round is three players, you don't know where the opponent has spawned. So you have to send out two scouts at once, as opposed to just scouting with one probe earlier and then scouting with your forge probe afterwards to come join your initial probe. I would recommend sending out two probes at once and then not scouting with your forge probe. So I hope that this has been educational and informative, 
and will aid you in can rushing against the Zerg on merry go round if you ever happen to find yourself in that situation. It is no longer a ladder map, but it might still be used in a friendly game or in a competition. So it might come in handy in the future. Also, having more knowledge and understanding of can rush spots on old maps will allow you to more easily create those for new maps and it will help you out in that context. I will of course keep all my can rushes for the present map secret so as to avoid my opponents perhaps knowing about them and to avoid general competition because you know I'm a greedy jerk. However, I do not have any qualms about showing my old can rush spots. So good luck and have fun.